Hello, friends, and welcome to the latest edition of The Boot Room, the show where we look ahead to Ipswich Town's game coming up this weekend. Of course, is Shrewsbury, the start of a huge week for Town. They've got three games in seven days, two against promotion rivals. My name is Mark Keith. I'm here with Andy Warren to look ahead to the game. So, Hutchie, let's not mess around. Let's get right into it. Yeah, so a big week for Ipswich Town. Games with promotion rivals Hull and Charlton coming up. But before that is a small matter of a game with Shrewsbury. On the face of it, the easiest of the three games, but I think it's going to be anything but simple for Ipswich. They're 22nd in League Two in League One sorry, at the moment. They're conceding goals. They're not scoring too many. They're winless in six, but they are playing some good football. And there are some surprise packages in this team, which could cause Ipswich a few problems on the day. Not one to be taken lightly, I wouldn't say. So here's where things get interesting for Paul Lambert this weekend. The Ipswich Town manager has already revealed he has two new injury problems to throw into the mix here. Two players that won't be available to him. That's in addition to Andre Dezel, who's serving the second of his three-game ban. And then obviously there's Kane Vincent Young, Flynn Downs and Cole Skews, who are all on the long-term injured list. So this is going to impact Lambert's selection process this weekend. I'm going to go through a lineup as if everybody's fit that we know is, though, because... I simply do not know who is out and we're only going to find out at two o'clock tomorrow. So assuming everybody is fit that we think is fit, I would go probably Thomas Holy in goal, a back four of Luke Chambers, Luke Wolfenden, Mark McGuinness, Stephen Ward. All signs are pointed, pointed towards Brett McGavin taking on the Andre Dazelle role at the base of the midfield. Paul Lambert's made it very clear that he sees McGavin as the, the most likely to be able to come in and play the two-touch instinctive pass and move football from the base of midfield that Dazelle was able to play. In front of him, I'd go with Teddy Bishop and probably John Nolan just by a nose over Emir Hughes. That leaves wide areas for Gwion Edwards and Jack Lancaster. And I'd probably go for Caden Jackson down the middle. For the first time this season, Lambert's going to have his strike armoury to choose from with Jackson, James Norwood and even Aaron Drynan back in training to support Ollie Hawkins. But I just think he'll go for the pace and, and movement of Caden Jackson in this one. OK, prediction time. So obviously, start of a big week. Town really have got to hit the floor running. I think they will do in this game. Shrewsbury's struggling. They've only won once all season. They have been scoring goals, though. So I can see them maybe scoring tomorrow. However, I think Town are going to run out. Handsome winners. I'm going to go 3-1 Town. Hutchie, what do you reckon? I think they're going to keep their clean sheet record intact at Switch this weekend. They haven't conceded a goal at all at Portman Road in League One. I think they're going to do the same in this one. They're going to shut the shrews out and win 